My name is Stacy Brown Jr. I'm from Crawfordville, Florida, and I am a filmmaker and a Bigfoot researcher. When I was a kid, uh, my dad was really interested in like UFOs and Bigfoot and all that. I would go into the woods across the street from my house, and we would be uh, Bigfoot hunting, and uh, that really kind of started it for me. I guess being from a very rural town, I felt that gave me an advantage versus somebody who's uh, you know, from the city and they may only get out to the woods possibly 10 days a year. I literally lived in the woods and so I felt my knowledge of, you know, wildlife and, and just how the forest works um, really was going to help me along in my journey. Tuesday, May 8th, 2012, my dad called me around lunchtime and asked me if I wanted to go bigfooting that night. He had sold his boat so he could buy a thermal uh, camera and he wanted to get back into it. So we headed to Torreya State Park. We walked about a mile, mile and a half down to the Rock Creek campsite. Around 11, 12 o'clock, uh, we started hearing knocks. My dad was super skeptical, so he was like, yeah, it's just the wind blowing the branches and stuff like that. And then it happened again, and they were closer. And I was like, hey, dude, they're coming in. We need to get ready. He goes, all right, if it happens again, we'll go out. And then right as he got done saying that, it was like a grunt and a knock. It was like a So we're walking down the trail, and we would hear something running on our right, and then we would hear something running on our left. And then Dad looked up at the tree, and he's like, oh, I see something. He was convinced it was two raccoons, and they were, like, fighting or squabbling. But then it takes off and crosses this gap. Now, mind you, I don't see what he's seeing and he goes into full-blown panic mode. The camera goes dead. He's like, we gotta go, we gotta go. He's like, do you got your gun? And my dad was a retired Army Ranger, and I'd never heard him tell me to get my gun unless there was a reason. You know, I knew stuff that got serious then. I'd never seen my dad scared. And so that's what made it like 10 times worse for me, you know, because this person my whole life, you know, you've put on this pedestal, you're safe around, and you can see him in a panic. So even though I was like 27 or so at the time, it, uh, it really still kind of shook me. When we got in the truck and he showed me the footage, I was like, you mean you tell me we're just gonna leave now that we found Bigfoot? And he was like, hey, you can go down there yourself, dude. I'll give you the camera and I'll sit right here in the truck. But I didn't want none of that. So uh, we rolled out. I knew exactly what we had on camera and somebody needed to look into this thing. Uh, and it couldn't be us. It had to be somebody that had no skin in the game, no horse in the race. So I sent the footage out to about five people and Cliff Barackman hit me back and believe it or not, he asked me if he could do an investigation into it. Cliff, being an expert on the subject, he knew certain things that I didn't know. So it was really cool to see him affirm what we saw. My dad was just doing it so he could hang out with his son. He didn't believe these things were real at all. He thought it was cool, but he didn't, you know, think in a million years that we would come across something that ended up being so important. My dad's passed away since then, but it was like winning the Super Bowl with your best friend. Even if nobody else believed it, it was proof to me and my dad 